everybody, Noreen here. I've got the one, two, three layout for you for October. Uh, happy Halloween. This is coming at you on October 31st. And I'm using what I have left of the super cute Halloween themed Toil and Trouble collection from Creative Memories. This was a great collection to work with because of the unique color scheme. It wasn't your typical Halloween colors. And, you know, there was a few papers that had, you know, kind of Halloween imagery on it. But many of them were really nice uh, geometric patterns, wood grain patterns, florals. And in this one in particular, there was a nice little pumpkin center. But, you know, really these could be used for a variety of different um, papers. And I'm actually going to use them with some photos that I have from our Yellowstone trip. So that's a little bit of a different use. I've also used a lot of my stickers up, especially the Halloween themed ones. So I'm going to be focusing on using up some of my border stickers and these cute hexagons that have kind of interchangeable centers. So for those of you who don't know, the one, two, three layouts uh, get their name because we use one sheet of double-sided patterned paper, two sheets of cardstock, and again, as I say, you're, if you're a Creative Memories scrapbooker, you can scrapbook directly on your album pages, so you'd need two of those. And then we make the whole thing using just three cuts. Now I give you the sketch each month as well as a cutting guide that shows you how to make those three cuts. And then the whole thing comes together very quickly into a two-page layout. So let's look at the uh, sketch for this month. We've got seven photos as well as journaling titling, uh, title, sorry, and then we've got some embellishment clusters. And again, please make these your own. If you don't have, you know, this many photos, feel free to, you know, take out the four by four photos or replace one of those with uh, journaling or maybe add another four by four photo in here if you if you need to. So definitely, you know, use this as a jumping off point. Make it your own. The cutting guide is really straightforward this month. We're going to cut our double-sided pattern paper at 4 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches if you're looking at your full sheet. So we'll cut it 4, move it aside, cut again at 4. That gives us two 4 by 12 inch uh, strips. And then the remaining 4 uh, by 12 inch strip we're going to cut in half at 2 inches to give us two 12, uh, sorry, 2 by 12 sheets, okay, or strips. That makes sense? <laughs> I get ahead of myself when I'm talking. So let's go ahead and uh, do the cutting. There's the paper back. And I love this, the, the hexagon patterns, and really the, the patterns in the background here are some lovely foliage and, uh, and florals, and then a nice yellow. I think they're, they're supposed to be eyes on the back, but it really reads as a nice geometric sort of uh, pattern. Now, because I'm going to be having my two of the strips. I think I'm going to use my yellow strips going sideways here. Um, I do need to decide whether I want to cut it across so that my little pattern goes up and down or whether I want to cut it across this way so that my pattern goes lengthwise. And I think for my purposes I, I always like it kind of going up and down. So I'm going to cut my paper this way. All right. So our first cut is at four. Our second cut would be at eight on a full size sheet, so that's another four. Those two will set aside. And then our last cut is at 10 inches on a full size sheet, so that's two inches on our remainders. Okay, and that's all we need to do. So fast when we cut that way. So as you can see in this picture, and you'll see on the final um, image of the the layout. I've, I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut the ends of these strips into banner pieces, but you could certainly just leave them as is and just leave them as full borders going across the page. Okay, so my two, I'm going to do blue on the bottom and you can see it's about maybe not quite an inch up from the bottom. And then I'm going to put my yellow kind of overlapping because again, I'm going to be trimming off a little uh, triangle here but if you want to leave them this way that is totally fine it's still going to look great okay so let me just show you how to do a quick trim so when I trim a banner piece I like to just gently fold the two corners together and then snip in and I want to cut about about an inch and a bit off of here so I'm going to make oops I'm going to make my banners about that big 
okay? And I'm gonna do that on all sides. If you choose to cut the, the pieces, the strips into banners, make sure you hang on to these because we're gonna use these as little tags up at the top there, okay? But let me show you how I'm gonna lay my photos out. As I mentioned, these photos are uh, from when my family and I visited Yellowstone. And it just so happens that my sons were wearing some blue and yellow t-shirts, which are perfect with these, uh, with these colors. Here's uh, Old Faithful itself. And then we were looking at all of the different geysers and uh, amazing sights around the area. So my photos are going to fit in just about like that. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of embellishments down here after I trim that piece. And again, these pieces are also going to be trimmed. I've got room for my title here. And then because I'm working on a solid background, I'm going to put my journaling right in there. So again, you can see how fast the layouts come together, which is what I love about the one, two, three layouts. And uh, that's the feedback that I get from you guys as well. You love how fast they are, that there's no waste, and that you get, you know, a lot of mileage out of just one sheet of paper. Okay. As always, I've got a handout for you and you can access that in the description below the video if you're watching on my YouTube channel or if you're watching this uh, embedded in the original blog post, you'll also see links to the handout. All right, so please make sure that you go ahead and download that so that you can make this layout. And I, I really encourage you guys to share your layouts on our Facebook group. We've got such a supportive community there. We'd love to see what you do with these um, designs and we'd love to see your finished products. All right. Thanks very much for joining me today. Have a great Halloween and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.